Let's talk a little bit more about the rhetoric, though, Mark, because you talk to some academics here in the United States. They say, listen, the rhetoric from Iran is hot. You don't want to meet that with equally hot rhetoric. It's, all, it's going to explode. I mean, that's, that's one theory. Uh, we've seen the rhetoric from the Obama administration was tempered. We're seeing different rhetoric from the Trump administration. What do you think is the result of all that talk? Well, again, I think it's, there's a distinction between rhetoric and action. I mean, the Obama administration, soft rhetoric, very little action. The Iranians could keep pushing forward, never felt any steel. And so they continued their aggressive activities. I, th I think the Supreme Leader and the clerical establishment is really afraid of Donald Trump and Secretary of Defense Mad Dog Mattis and Mike Flynn. I mean, they're seeing a team of administration officials who have long experience dealing with the Iranians are going to be much tougher. And so I would expect this kind of rhetorical outrage from Tehran, but I think it actually masks some deep-seated fears about what the United States is willing to do and whether the United States is now finally willing to use all instruments of American power to punish and deter Iran. And that leads to an interesting question, Yaakov, of what is the gift of unpredictability when it comes to leadership and foreign policy? There's certainly a lot of critics of it. But what is the gift of that? How do you see it? Well, I think that from Israel's perspective, at least, it, it could mean that Iran will recalculate. It might decide that it needs to, because of the unpredictability, the fact that they don't know what Trump might do, they don't know what the repercussions will be of missile tests, right? Your exclusive report from just minutes ago of how they unloaded that uh, launcher and that Safir missile, right? It might be a satellite launch vehicle, but a Safir missile also has the capability to carry potentially one day a nuclear warhead. So these ballistic missiles or ICBMs that Iran might be testing, this could also be an indication that they're recalculating, they're reconsidering what their actions should be because they understand that this change and they don't know how to read what's happening in the White House. And I think that Israel for the time being appreciates the fact that this is uh, unsettling a bit for the Iranians. I'm, 